<laughs> and barely whispered it. Oh yeah. Hey okay. y'all. <laughs> Welcome back to another episode of Too Familiar. Hope y'all week was going great. My week has been great and wonderful. How's your week yes. been? My week's been good. Um yeah, just working. Um I got a massage. Mm. So yeah, my week has been I think I'm gonna end up getting like a massage every week to be honest. Because I mean I say every week, once a month, because I don't know. I just I just love it. I enjoyed it and yeah. Yeah, yeah. You know what so, this yeah. week is? We're gonna be going to Atlanta. I know. ATL, baby. ATL. Baby. How did that song go? Um uh, from ATL. I'm in Atlanta and he missed me. Oh go- you always sing it wrong. <laughs> <laughs> How it go? Steady calling from Atlanta, say he missed me. Wow, 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 wow. No, we are gonna be in Atlanta. Yeah. Are you excited? Welcome to Atlanta, where the players play. Are you excited? I'm very excited. Um, we supposed to be going to a podcast festival. Are we guys. supposed to be? Or are we going? Are we going? The tickets bought. Tickets. The flights bought. bought. I just got to book that hotel. <laughs> <laughs> we got me living down the street. So we're going to um, Charlemagne and Jess Hilarious's first annual Black co- uh, Black Podcast Networking event. And I'm excited. I'm very excited. I don't have really any expectations. I don't really know what's going to happen. I don't know who's going to see. Well, I do know 85 South is going to be there. And you know I love them. Yeah. But besides that. I'm excited to meet all the. I'm other... just excited to meet all the other podcasters. Yeah. yeah, I'm definitely excited to see what the people got in store. Um, networking, just seeing who we can meet out there. Yeah, you know. But besides, pick people brains. Besides the event, because the event is only one day. We're gonna be going for four, five days. Four or five days. Yeah. What's what's in store for the and, 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 and celebration of my birthday as well? Mm-hmm. Yeah. So if y'all know any spots. Send us some comments, you know, whatever. Let us know where we should be eating, where the good spots at, where the good bars, whatever, clubs. I'm excited. I'm excited. I know. I'm excited. I love Atlanta. What's your favorite? I feel like Atlanta is definitely on the list of, like, favorite places I've been. But, like, what's yeah. your favorite? Um, uh, what is my favorite? Probably California. Oh, okay. I guess That's because... I don't, I don't do uh, recreational activities, but I did when I was out there. So you do recreational activities? <laughs> Is it sound like? <laughs> don't lie. I, to, I don't. don't lie to our people. I don't. But when you in Cali, why not? Is and that I what did. you had called me? Yeah. And you oh, okay? And I said I am retarded. <laughs> 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 I could just go saying that. That's the most high I ever been. Mm-hmm. For me, yeah. I don't even know how I made it back to the hotel room because, yeah. and I was a driver. That was God on my side. I feel like my favorite place is still Houston. Oh, I lied that quick. My, I don't know. I don't know. I had a lot of favorite places. I had fun in Arizona too when Milwaukee, Milwaukee went all to Arizona. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that was lit. That I didn't go to. Yes, that. <laughs> You missed out on a great time. Yeah. I feel like Houston is still like mine. With us? Or no? Was that there? Yeah. I, you was there both times. I've been to Houston twice, I think. Okay. Which time? The first time was fun. <laughs> <laughs> What's the first time? <laughs> Who was you with? For my birthday. With, with Sabrina. Sabrina. Okay. Yeah. What was the second time? With Deshaun? Um, I feel like you didn't like three there. times. Deshaun was with us. Um. I forgot. What did we even go for? But she had Halloween. met us at our hotel. Halloween. Yeah. Halloween was fun. Man, y'all shouldn't get that girl beat up. <laughs> that Okay, I didn't even know what was going on, though. So, not yeah, me. be aware of your surroundings. Look. You need to be aware of yours. So, what would you say your favorite place was? Houston. Really? So not far, Vegas? Yeah. Vegas was fun. <laughs> the first Vegas was more fun than any. That's what I'm saying. Yeah. Okay, Vegas, yes. Okay. 
Are we just saying number one or yeah, like number top one. three? What's your number one? Oh, we could do top three. Okay, top three have to be first time in Vegas. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Atlanta. Mm-hmm. No, Houston, then Atlanta. Okay. I think. I don't know. Uh, mine's is definitely. Are we going one, two, three, or are we doing just random? They just all top one, three. One, two, three. One, I would say. Uh, I don't know. We had fun in Atlanta. I'm gonna say Atlanta is my number one because we had so much fun. Like we was just random. Getting on, we're hopping on buses that we don't even know. We could have been trafficking on yeah. oh my life. <laughs> we was literally time. where? Okay, we ended up. We went to what was the first place we went to that we paid to get in? That Sabrina was like, "It's so fun, da da da," and it ended up being LGBT night. Oh, I forgot what it's. I really don't remember none of the bars names, but I know what you're talking yeah, about. Yeah, so we went and then, uh. We ended up leaving there, and we went. Somebody had ended up telling us about Edgewood. Yeah, Edgewood. So then, I was gonna say Elmwood Street, <laughs> Edgewood. Yeah. We went down on Edgewood for the first time ever, lit. and it was so lit. You gotta go. I don't care what the locals say. Gotta go as a tourist. And we went to this bar. Marlena almost got ran over y'all a few times. Okay. <laughs> we we went into this bar. And it was super crowded, though. Uh-huh. I feel like it was fun, but it was crowded. So it was like, I can't really move. Yeah. So we ended up left, went outside, and then a party bus pull up. And the girl hop out, and she like... No, she was walking. And was the, she? Yeah, the guy pulled up, and he opened the bus door, and he was like, he was telling her, you know, come on, bring some friends, whatever. And that's what she yelled, And right? she like, oh, y'all, come on. They said the, the bus is free. We finna ride around. So <laughs> me and Tashina, and then I grabbed Didn't Sabrina Hen. <laughs> We like, you know, we finna get on this bus. Sabrina <laughs> like, uh, oh, where is going? What, what are we doing? Me and she like, I don't, we don't know. It don't, Did not care. At this point. The bus is going. Matter. The bus is busting. Okay. <laughs> and it was lit. It was. It was. It really was. Yeah. He took us around downtown. Was that downtown? Edgewood? Is it downtown? I don't think. Edgewood I don't know. Downtown. What We went around a couple times around the block and stuff. It was lit. Yeah. I'll do it again. For sure. We'll do it again. Uh, Yeah. What's well, our yeah. topic for today, though? So today, first, I wanted us to talk about backhanded compliments. Mm-hmm. I feel like it's just something, you know. I'm really a TikTok girl, so I be I be seeing everything, I be catching on to everything, and I was just seeing it's it's so irritating seeing like plus size women who mm-hmm. are comfortable wearing whatever they want to wear, whether that's Two pieces, bathing suits, whatever, wearing sh- super short, uh, short shorts, mm-hmm. or wearing like what, whatever it is that they want to wear that people will find if you're not smaller. That it's like, why the fuck you got that on? You right. know what I mean? Uh-huh. And then for people to comment, oh girl, the confidence, or oh yeah, yeah, or saying like, um. You you pull that off or something, but it, but if it girl, was me, yeah. yeah, or the but if it was me or I go, who girl, I couldn't do it and stuff like that. That's not a fucking compliment. I don't know if y'all really know what a compliment is. That's not a compliment, right? It's kind of being a little shady on the side. Shady for sure. And what the fuck do you mean the confidence? I have on a fucking shirt. <laughs> <laughs> or even saying the confidence, I I have on a swimsuit because I'm at the pool. Right. I don't know why you thought I was gonna wear my winter turtleneck. <laughs> but I'm getting in this pool in a swimsuit like everybody else. Right. And it's weird to me. Why do why why do you feel like big people <laughs> make small people so uncomfortable? Like it's always such a discussion of everybody want to discuss body positivity <laughs> and discuss like what somebody else got going on or what you know what I mean? I don't know. I mean, I said, I don't know. You feel like big people make small people uncomfortable? Yes. And even there was a situation where um, this girl, she was bigger. We could just say her name was Keisha. Mm-hmm. And Taylor was super skinny. Mm-hmm. And the moment that they fell out and had a little incident. Shut up. Seriously. <laughs> what she said. Then Taylor going to say <laughs> that she always tried to make sure Keisha felt uh, comfortable and safe. And she never mm-hmm. tried to do skinny stuff around her stuff like that it's like what do you mean what do you mean right like what's skinny stuff you know 
And that's why I feel like it's weird. Too. I thought you were going to say something else. What? Because <laughs> you always making a little joke. <laughs> like, you big bad. I don't know how do you say it. <laughs> you like, Basically, you, you big back bitch. No, for sure. <laughs> for sure. I don't um, But that, I feel like that goes into even like this day and age of mm-hmm. the, oh, I'm a girl's girl and I'm mm-hmm. a. I want to support women and I want to do this and that, but it's always women. Some shady stuff on the side, yeah. Or they, like you said, they kind of give you the compliment and then behind the back, they be like, girl, did you see such and such? You're calling and gossiping all on the phone mm-hmm. about that such and such, but didn't you just comment on her stuff saying she looked good in it? I, like, I'm confused. Very confused. Yeah. See, I don't, I don't like that. Do you feel like you ever were in a situation or a friend group where it was like, Mean girl yeah, type thing. Yeah. yeah, I feel like I had a, some people in my friend group that was like that, and I didn't think it was funny. Yeah, I don't talk to them people no more though. You gotta kick them to the curb because if they doing it to somebody else, they possibly doing that to you too. Mm-hmm. I don't know if I ever had that. Like you know, my friend mm-hmm. group is small, and then even with high school, like my high school is super little, so I feel like we never. Everybody kind of knew each other, and yeah. it, even if it was, it was somebody, like family. Yeah, mm-hmm. that's the vibe that I got. I don't know how anybody else felt about it, and I feel like it never really gave like, oh, mean girls or this different clique, this and that, because the school so damn small. We all mix together <laughs> in classes. Everybody know each other. Like right, right. So this whole, I feel like a lot of people sometimes use like social media to be mean as well, because a lot of times when when people say mean stuff or and all that, the stuff that they would never say to you in person. Mm-hmm. And that's that too is kind of starting to be weird because it's almost like you don't, I don't even know who to trust. Like that right. could be you behind the thing and then whole time you over here acting like you my friend and you sitting behind a fake page. Whole time trying to tear me down. Okay. Like well, you don't yeah. want to see me win. You don't want to see me be great. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> At all. Man. And then yeah. we were also Do you feel talking. like you you a girl's girl? I do. But well, I also feel like I'm not really uh I support stuff that I actually like. Mm-hmm. I know sometimes a lot of people talk about the whole like, oh, people only do popular hair, people hair mm-hmm. or only support popular people who got a following. Mm-hmm. But I feel like I just go to what I like. And then too, it's the <laughs> it, it, it be the hairstylists for me. <laughs> Always. <laughs> Always, cause it'd be like y'all do a good. It'd be the main ones too. That it's it's like, do you do hair? Do you not do hair? Okay. Because don't say like if I'm trying to book an appointment, don't get irritated with me because I'm asking questions. How the fuck I'm supposed to know if you do what I want you to do, or if you even provide the services, or you feel like oh uh, you supposed to only hit me up during this time, or it'd be the it, it's in the caption. Did you read right. the bio? Did you read the Answer my and I understand question. that, but then it'd be like sometimes, like, okay, I just want to clarify. Can I just clarify something with you? Is that okay? Or, okay, this off topic, but you know what I really hate when they be texting with that? Hey, hun, girl, don't text me. Good morning, Buki. <laughs> not Buki. <laughs> and first of all, stop calling me all these, these all little these nicknames and stuff. I'm not your Buki. Okay. My name is Tashina. Say it. Okay. And they say that just to say, yeah, I got to cancel. Bitch. Like, why you do this to Where me? Where you at right now? I'm finna pull up. <laughs> I'm finna pull up. And whoop your ass. <laughs> <laughs> because you got me fucked up. <laughs> no, I got a good hairstylist now uh, in Dallas. Mm-hmm. Her name, Hair Glory. Period. Shout out to her. She always on time. She do her thing. Is she the one she, you were saying that you want to start getting like your natural hair taken care of? No, it's this other girl. She want to do the braids and stuff? Mm-hmm. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. She be killing the braids. I need to find somebody to actually take care of my real hair. Yeah, natural hair. hair. Yeah. I used to have a great lady, but she don't do hair no more. She do, um, like, she teach at the beauty school. At, at Empire. Empire, yeah. And then she stopped, or she still teaches? Oh, she teach. She still does. Oh, and she just said, oh, since, since you moved? I'm confused. No, so she, okay, she's up here in Milwaukee. Yeah. But she stopped doing hair and she started to be a teacher. Oh, oh, oh the Empire. Oh. Yeah. I thought she was saying like she did it together and it. Yeah, 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 yeah. And then so now that you're in Dallas, you just doing the sticking to the braids and all yeah. that with your new girl. Yeah, with my new girl, so I found my natural hair lady. Yeah. How do you feel about 
even with us like starting this podcast, I feel like we've been very consistent. Mm -hmm. Do you feel like when you see, I, sometimes I feel like people are hard on you when you start where you at. Right. Like us starting from the bottom, basically. Mm -hmm. I feel like sometimes it's so much like negative energy behind it or the questioning behind it, even the, the backhand questioning of like, right. oh, we're excited about this. We're doing this. And then, uh, well, how can you do that? How can you afford that? How you doing this? And the, this and that. It's like, and you ain't making no money off that. It don't matter. It's something that I want to do. Yeah. And I, that's a good point that sometimes even us not making no money from this, sometimes it's like we'll be able to see if we're even able to be consistent with it. Right. You know what I mean? Um, what else I to find a word? Uh, I was gonna say discipline, but then I don't know. I don't feel like that's the word I want to use. Mm -hmm. But it's just like, um, I don't know. Because if we really wasn't in it and being serious about it, why would we continue to right. spend our money? Right, right, exactly. And we've been at this for how long? Since two thousand seventeen. That's a long ass time. So it we should put that be. video out one day. Meant to be. <laughs> no, that was my movie. No, when that movie came out. <laughs> And the mom, <laughs> when uh, T Box, speaking T Box, when uh, my girl, when she was in the hospital like that first time on the movie for mm -hmm. her sickle cell, and the mama came and lay with her, it's like T Box. <laughs> <laughs> Me and Toy used to laugh. Up. That's so childish. We used and speaking of Toy, since I brought her name up, you know what our favorite catfish episode was? I already know. Okay. The Kelly Price. <laughs> <laughs> Why would she catfish her cousin? Like, you played too much. And then you went through all this, went with Neff and them all around the city trying Lie, to figure out. Exactly. And she said, Of course, y'all ain't gonna find him. <laughs> because it's me. And that's like, What? <laughs> <laughs> like, girl, you've been wasted all our money. And then she's gonna this. say, You always try to embarrass me in front of the dad. You always try to. <laughs> Girl, that that's a backhand compliment because she probably was back or like you know oh yeah cousin da, da, da. Like I'm happy for you whole yeah. time you catfishing me I can't believe this it and be your it, own people it make it more funny that she been talking about her but the Kelly Price one <laughs> is what took her over the fucking edge and she said yeah bitch <laughs> <laughs> got your ass <laughs> she said I got stuff for your ass <laughs> Kelly Price <up. laughs> Kelly Price then took the price up for real. It took the fucking price up. That is hilarious. <laughs> Why do you feel like it'd be weird to me sometimes when girls say that they don't have any female friends? Because mm -hmm. it's just kind of like, why you don't have no female friends? Because now I'm looking at you weird. You don't know how to interact with other females. Yeah, you don't know how to be a friend. But I don't know. Because I don't know. Because I'm half. I, I wouldn't say I'm half and half, but just being around. Certain females, you could tell, and then I really not explain it. But when I moved to Dallas, I met some wonderful women that mm -hmm. was really like some girls. Girls always supporting. I so feel how like because you you did meet some people. I mean, but some then very that also people. that also was <laughs> yeah. So so how what was that? That's what I'm saying. That's what I'm in between. <laughs> some women just ain't genuine. Yeah. Um. It was. I feel like it was good. You just gotta watch who you friend. That's really what it is. Like you gotta really surround yourself with some genuine people that got stuff to lose. That that's mentally there, I guess, and just ain't hating on you. Mm -hmm. And you gonna learn over time. I mean, you gotta live and learn sometimes. But you can tell them signs in the beginning. It's just the way they act, the way they move. When, like I said, you hear them talking about another female, you already know they talking about you. Yeah. Because it's like, why you feel so comfortable being in their face laughing and giggling, but, you know, talking behind their back? You feel like it's hard to make friends as a dog? Yes. Yeah? Sometimes. Yeah. But I feel like it was... Was it hard for you, though? I feel like I've I feel never like really... I used to be a people... I, I don't feel like I'm a people person now, but I, I feel like I know how to talk to people and just, like, interact. So it's not that... Re it's not really hard. It's just the... The fact of actually doing it, like mm. okay, let's let's talk. I guess let's be friends. I ain't gonna lie, COVID definitely should have. I don't want to talk to you. Yeah. Um. I feel like I was never. I don't feel like you was either. <laughs> I feel like you be quick to. Mm -hmm. Yeah. All right. No, but it's crazy because <laughs> then when people know me, they like girl, yeah, you, you funny. Why you been right. 
<laughs> so I don't. That's what I be saying to you too. Like you are funny and hilarious and cool to kick it with, but you just not a people person. Because <laughs> I don't know you. <laughs> okay. <laughs> and I'm scared. I don't know what you. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> that is hilarious. Yeah, I don't think you're a people person. I feel like I slowly just moved out of my people person phase though. Yeah. I feel like this is this is gonna help me though. Y'all know I said that this is like my therapy, but I feel mm-hmm. like this is like even just getting my thoughts out, just saying what I think and just talking more. Mm-hmm. I feel like I could potentially. I feel like you got it. You just don't really want to <laughs> talk to people. I swear, because I mean, like when I brought you around my friend group when we stuff like first started hanging out. Mm-hmm. Everybody's like, oh my God, your auntie's so funny. Your auntie that. Okay. Chill. <laughs> she my auntie. I ain't sharing. Like, no, remember at your um, was that your baby shop or bridal shop? I wanted mm-hmm. to, it was at your house though. And we was playing some game <laughs> and I was getting all the questions right. And so I said, Is that your best friend? And you said that's my auntie. And everybody like, was it the bridal shop or was it I feel like that was just a Christmas party? I don't know. Oh, was it? I feel like it was. I don't remember. I know was Neil uh, there, Deshaun there. I don't know if Deshaun was there, but um uh I think Maisha was pregnant. Um it had to Miranda be for Christmas. Was there. No, it was probably no, it, I don't know. Cause we had a game night kind of like that, and we had a Christmas or and then we had a Mike birthday party. Yeah. No, the time okay, no, I don't think it I think it was just maybe a game night. Cause Anaya was there, uh, Keisha was there. Man, I, don't, I know what you're talking about. <laughs> I don't know what we celebrating. We celebrating life at that yeah. point. <laughs> Cause I don't remember. <laughs> Just throwing a party to have one. No, speaking of parties, you know who used to party? throw the best parties? Me, your mama. <laughs> <laughs> me girl no them basin parties was fucking freak nick and your mama act like she <laughs> <laughs> they wasn't they <laughs> you have to lie and say they wasn't <laughs> it wasn't you in like eighth grade <laughs> only in eighth grade and y'all up there cutting up acting like y'all growing no. embarrassing me what was you doing then uh angel that i am girl and then that was back when that uh what the fuck is that song by Akon? Uh, Lock the baby. No. no. Ooh, okay, what the I'm f- sorry. <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck? No, Which it was one? a song. I can't think of the fucking name. Fly is on see it. You no, that too, but Hypnotize. Oh, okay. She got me so hypnotized. Mm-hmm. Like, that song. That song. Yeah, cutting up. That's when Mel hit the and splits. And then hit the fucking splits. And then cutting you up. had that light. That's like <laughs> the strobe light. At, yes. <laughs> They had the whole basement set up like it was a bar. It was. I swear. That's because my daddy used to like the DJ and stuff. Dude used to have freak nigga parties in eighth grade. Who? You. Who? Not me. We was having Bible study, okay? Girl. Y'all the one that was the devil. Girl. <laughs> you was the host of these parties. Mm-hmm. And I used to be scared at first to dance. And then. I was so shocked when your mama brought y'all because you already know. Because it was freak <laughs> And my mama said, these angels can't be a part. Your mama was over there being lit, too. Yeah, we was over there. Please. <laughs> that was the night y'all actually got to stay all late, kind of. I know. Man. We used to that do so shit. Fun. Yeah, no. I feel like it, we did a lot. Maybe just because I was around y'all a lot. After a while. Remember we was talking about we couldn't remember why it was such a period of time when we didn't see each other? Mm-hmm. I was still so confused about that. Like Me, too. Like, what was going on? For real. I didn't even remember Sabrina staying with y'all. Me neither, actually. That's wild. I do remember Tyler being there. I don't. I remember, like, I guess when her visiting sometimes, but I don't really mm. remember if that like makes sense. Yeah. For some reason, it's like I remember her being there, but I don't exactly remember, like, even, like, how our room was set up for right. all of us to sleep or none of that. I swear, I feel like y'all room used to have a big thing of beers in the corner. It did, like, <laughs> it did. Like why? I don't, and then I crawled in there and slept one night, and it had broke, <laughs> and, it, <laughs> and all the beers was all across my bed. <laughs> Anybody and heard like, it? I don't think so. I, did I you just fall fell hard into my bed? Was it a pie? Yeah, and then you were so. <laughs> and I just woke up like I didn't know it was going. I'm like the net, that, the net. That the net fell. He should have whooped your behind. See, here you go. Back with the that is why I am. But you know, sometimes you just gotta 
put it to the behind. No, that's crazy. Yeah. What a crazy thing to say to your to your aunt. Well, how do you feel about um since we talking about girls, girls, men, girls, girls, whatever? About like aging out of friendships. Um, I feel like we're in that like weird stage or age, maybe like me, honestly, me leaving high school to go to job court, mm-hmm. I feel like that, like, within a month or so, literally taught me that some of these people is only my friends because I see them every single day. Right. Like, I would, I would never talk to y'all again. It's people I ain't never talked to again, ever. Mm-hmm. And um, I feel like it's weird. You know, I feel like I'm kind of maybe going through that right now mm-hmm. with my best friend. Like, we haven't talked in a while, and I feel like... I'm really sad about it, and I think about it a lot, actually. Mm-hmm. But I also feel like we're kind of like we've known each other for so long, literally since we were kids. And I feel like we never transitioned from that kid friendship to now being adults. Mm-hmm. And maybe we just need this separation for a little bit, just for right. it to come back. Which I pray that it does come back, because I love her so much. But, Aww. well, yeah, I think that you're so ugly. <laughs> But yeah, so I feel like it's not, even with social media too, though, I feel like I'm definitely in that phase of like unfriending people. Like I really don't, not even in a bad way, but I, just, I don't care to see y'all no more. Mm-hmm. I don't care what y'all got going on. I don't care to follow shit that I don't want to see. I don't really care that you okay. follow me. Like you can unfollow me. You happy on that because you will quickly, <laughs> I block them. What? Not even block them, but I'll unfollow them. I'm talking about like or... when I be, you know, watching TikTok and I'm like, you seeing this right? And you like, yeah, I block them. I don't oh, yeah. see that. <laughs> What? Okay, that too. Certain okay, certain on TikTok, it is certain people that I've yeah, I know. blocked. You blocked my girl. But Me. it's wait, who? The girl that be running in the yellow dress. With the, for yes, sure. That's my girl. After like the, the 50th <laughs> video, I she said, she got a thing going. Is do she still do that? She she still does, and okay. she's doing a good job. Mm. Look, nah, I'm tired. I of just don't it. care to see it. Yeah. <laughs> but it's some things that I just put that I don't want to see. I don't block them. I just put care not to see. Mm-hmm. That's it. Because there's a lot of shit I don't care to see. And I don't feel like that's like a bad thing. It's not. Because you feel... Because you're you turn out what you want to see and what you don't. And you... I feel like you're very connected still to people that, like, even you went to high school and shit with. That's crazy. Really? I don't. I feel like, um, you know, I, you remember that phone call a couple weeks ago mm-hmm. that we had, or I had got? Um, I don't know. I feel like I love him. It ain't none of that. Uh, it's just that everybody got their own life. Everybody doing their own thing. You just outgrow people sometimes. Yeah. Yeah. But I love my people still. I mean, I check in here and there. You know, how's life going? You doing good? All right. How the kids? All right. I love y'all. Yeah. I'm here if you need anything. And, okay, yeah. That's how I feel. Yeah. Like, I feel even like, you know, me, Toy and Bianca, we close. But I feel like I don't see them as often Maybe as we could, but literally mm-hmm. anytime that we we talk or we link back up, it's just like old times, it's regular. Like, right. So I don't feel like, also, I feel like we don't have to see, well, because me and Kaylin talk very often, but uh, like my other friends, I feel like it's just kind of like whenever we see each other, if anything, if any event going on or something like right. that, we show up for each other. But, yeah. Yeah, not mine. Yeah. I love them though. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, and we still be playing our game. Yes, you know we always in the episodes with I know you fucking lying. So you want to go first? I can go first? first. Okay, let's see. Okay. Um, how many Chris Brown songs can you name? That's so funny. Christopher Maurice Brown. I can name five. I can name six. I can name seven. I can name eight. I can name ten. I can name eleven. I can name thirteen. I know you fucking lying. I want to hear you say it. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Give me that. Mm-hmm. Give me that remix. Okay, don't Shit. do no remixes. <laughs> no, you no that's it. <laughs> I, I, I'm gonna give it to you. <laughs> I guess. Thank you. But I mean, of course, we know it's a remix. Okay. But, all right. Yo. All right. Uh, she ain't you. Mm-hmm. Uh, crawl. Mm-hmm. Uh, beg for it. Okay. Uh, yellow tape. Nope. No, I'm saying keep going. I was gonna say this. <laughs> Uh, tell me what to do. Um, uh, uh, uh. I'm gonna make you big for it. Okay, what the bit? Okay, 
I already said big for it, didn't I? Yeah. Uh, I should have kissed you. Okay. Okay. Um, I see you. Three more, baby. Come on. Three. Yeah. Um. Um. Uh, 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 um. <clears throat> I think you need to take a drink. No, no. I only got three left. I can name three more. Okay. 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 You're stressing me out. You're stressing me out. You're stressing me out. Nine. Okay. Eight. Seven. Okay. Just count to yourself. You six. Oh. Two for the road. Uh, is for the road this song? No. Oh, take your shot. <laughs> okay. I can't believe you didn't think of baseline. You didn't think of baseline. I don't know baseline. Okay, I'm not gonna try to sing. It. Okay, no guidance. <laughs> oh, I couldn't think. You start. You wouldn't stop talking. I was. I was silent Dang. for a while. Okay, how many Whitney Houston songs can you name? One. <laughs> <laughs> I don't even think I can name that one. I can sing some songs. I can but... name two. Okay, then name them. No, how many can you name? Hi, <laughs> <laughs> you think you sweet. No, we redoing that one because I just told you how many no. I can name. <laughs> Heartbreak Hotel. This is the Heartbreak exactly. Hotel. I can sing them, but I can't name them. Your turn. It's your turn, cause that didn't count. It do count. Oh my god, it count. Um, let's see. What's a good question for you? Uh, since we doing podcasts, how many podcasts can you name? I can name four. I can name five. I can name six. <laughs> I can name six. <laughs> no, I said Where the rules at? Cause you didn't say we could. We gonna have rules for next week. Cause your ass. She did not say we couldn't say nothing. Either you can name one up above. Okay, but you didn't lay them rules down okay, at first. It's a rule. So okay, can, after can I said seven? six. I already said six. But you named Can the you rule name after. seven? <laughs> I said six. Okay. I already said six, though. Can you name seven? Or you can say, <laughs> I know you fucking lying. I know you fucking lying. Girl, cocktails. Four Minds, Brilliant Idiots, 85 South Show, uh, Joe Biden. I mean, I said, did I say Joe Biden or Joe yeah. Biden? You said Joe Biden. <laughs> <laughs> you see, I said. <laughs> Joe Biden. Okay. I should make you take a shot, but okay. Okay. He up here cutting up. Trump got one too, I guess. So yeah, with your cheating. You name? didn't name the six one. Why you oh, talking? What I say? Poor Minds, Eddie Fox House Show, Brilliant Idiots, uh, Joe Budden, uh, Don't Call Me White Girl. Okay. Yeah. 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 Mm-hmm. Yep. mm-hmm. It's good too. I guess she's smart, y'all. You know? I think she always lying, but okay. Now, if y'all got any, I know you fucking lying scenarios or questions y'all wanna also put in there for us to do, you know. You can actually just DM them to me yes. so I can ask her. No. Yeah. DM them to our page. <laughs> Too familiar. Look it up, okay? Because she be cheating. I think she got that stuff written on her hand on the low. She be prepared for this. <laughs> How I be prepared for yours? She be prepared. Okay. That's crazy. I got to start writing my notes down. I got to keep them in my head. It has been another episode <laughs> of the Too Familiar Podcast. Thanks for tuning, tuning in. We'll be in back next week. Yeah. I'm excited. You excited? I am. All right. Bye. Nobody.